everybody. For this week, we are going to read The Smallest Girl in the Smallest Grade. And then we are going to create an artwork that shows our arm and hand traced. And inside of it, we have some good traits, some good characteristics. And on the outside, in these little colorful blobs, we have listed ways that some of these good traits might look like, what some of them may look like. While you're reading the book, I want you to see if you can find what Sally's extra special trait is. Enjoy. The Smallest Girl in the Smallest Grade, written by Justin Roberts, illustrated by Christian Robinson. The Smallest Girl in the Smallest Grade. Hardly anyone noticed young Sally McCabe. She was the smallest girl in the smallest grade. Sure, her name could be heard in the daily roll call, and she marched with her books down the same school hall, but hardly anyone noticed young Sally McCabe. And they certainly didn't know, or at least didn't mention, that Sally was paying super extra special attention. To the abandoned kite with the tangled string, to the 27 keys on the janitor's ring, to the leaves as they turn green to gold in the fall, to the time Tommy Torino was tripped in the hall. She watched as the wildflowers tipped toward the light and heard the howl of the hound dog late one night. She was there when the stray cats who normally fought conducted a meeting in the church parking lot. She saw Kevin McEwen get pushed off a slide and the oncoming tears that he wanted to hide. And she'll never forget that parent-teacher day when Billy's much larger father suddenly dragged him away. But through all the mean words and all the cold stares, no one even noticed that Sally was there. And they certainly didn't know, or at least didn't mention, that Sally was paying super extra special attention. She'd seen how a whisper could make someone cower, like a bulldozer crushing through fields of wildflowers, and it kept piling up this dis discarded debris, those beautiful kites tangled in trees. So on February 3rd at 1129, Sally stepped straight out of the lunchroom line. She said, I'm tired of seeing this terrible stuff. Stop hurting each other, this is enough. Now a few laughed out loud or didn't care that there was some girl with her hand in the air, but then something super extra special happened that day as Howard O'Henry suddenly set down his tray. Like waves rolling in one after another, first Molly rose up, then Michael's twin brother. It was Tyrone and Terrence, then Amanda and Paul, who pushed out their chairs and stretched their arms tall. From the friendly lunch lady with the dishes she carted to the new third grade teacher who had recently started. Yes, everyone there, even Principal Claire, had joined little Sally with their fingers in the air. And though hound dogs were destined to howl at night and most stray cat meetings would end up as fights and kites would continue to get stuck in trees, they all felt for a moment like the janitor's keys fastened together with a heavy steel ring that held all the secrets to unlock everything. As the world returned to the way that it was, Sally noticed the difference, as she usually does, when Billy paused briefly to open the door for Miss O'Connell and 17 more, or when Molly scooched over to make some space on the coral riser for Ellen and Grace. These moments that often get taken for granted, a wildflower appearing that no one had planted. The swings soon resumed their rhythm and sway, and day turned to night and night turned to day. People remembered and would quite often mention that Sally had been paying super extra special attention, and how the world could transform and a change could be made by the smallest girl in the smallest grade.
the end. Alright guys, for this week we have a big piece of paper or poster board. And in our bag we have some markers and some colored pencils. Yours may look a little different than mine, but coloring materials is what we needed and a pencil. All right, so like I showed you before, we are gonna create um, a hand, just like that. And inside our hand, we're gonna list some of our traits, our character traits. And then on the outside, we are gonna list how those things might look. So did you guys figure out what Sally's trait was? Sally was very observant, wasn't she? She took the time to watch and observe what people were doing. And when she was given an opportunity, she rose her hand up in the air and she said, that's enough. So she was very brave. So what we are going to do is we are gonna first start by tracing our hand. So in the book, there was this great illustration of all the kids having their hands raised. So that's what we're gonna do too. All right. So I'm going to put my hand down like this and then use a pencil and I'm just going to trace around my hand. Get that finger up there, come around like so, okay? And then I'm going to create just three little loops right here to kind of act as my fingers and then a little thumb line right there, okay? All right, so now I'm going to kind of Fast forward on you guys a little bit. There we go. Okay, so you can see I ended up outlining mine with marker and I'll probably go back in here and color some more too. So I've listed some of the character traits that I think that I would like to work on or I think I do pretty well. Um, being accepting, helpful, having manners, observes. That was like Sally's, kind and listen. And then I colored in these little designs with my markers to kind of write over top. And how I did that is I just colored a little bit in the middle and then took another color, yeah, and colored on the outside. So if we were looking at manners, how, how might that sound or look like when you have good manners? Well, it would be something like using please and thank you, right? And if listen, what would listening do? Well, listening would be something similar to following your directions. Being helpful could be something, could look or sound like asking if someone needs help. So you pick a few characteristics that you feel you do well or that you wanna work on and list them in your arm and your hand and then make some kind of colorful design on the outside and describe what that might sound or look like. Hope you guys have fun.